Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to take a look at how to fix the problem with the Armory Crate installer hanging at 55% uh, seems to be the most common one, or just hanging anywhere in the installation process. So, if you are building your new system, you've got your new motherboard, and you're installing Armory Crate to download all the drivers, which generally should be a very straightforward task, sometimes you can go to the system and look at it and it's just hung. Now, this has happened to me today numerous times and I couldn't work out why it was so I've done a bit of research and it appears that there is potentially a problem with the way the Armory Crate actually downloads the files in the background potentially an issue with Microsoft's own security settings so we'll be taking a look in the settings section to see how you can remedy it there is also a folder all of which will be listed in the video description below so if you want to you can just copy and paste it although the folder is part of the app data settings so you may not be able to cut and paste it, so you may need to just visually follow along. Anyway, I'm wittering on way too long. Let's take a look on the computer and let's get this thing fixed. Okay, so where do I start? Right, this is Armory Crate. This is probably what you're here with to the video anyway. And you've possibly gone into the tool section and possibly drivers to update your system. Now I've actually found it okay. The chipset driver, Bluetooth driver, Wi-Fi, that was a problematic one. Uh, but for some reason it just seems to keep on hanging on the Realtek LAN driver, which is weird because the LAN is actually working, that's how I'm connected to the internet. But it does seem that there is a group of folders which sometimes get corrupted or don't have the correct permissions. Now there's two prongs of this. The first one is if we go into the settings, so this is gonna be for Windows 11, Windows 10 is gonna be similar, but not exactly the same, so you're gonna have to find your own way there. So click on the start bar, go into settings, then you wanna head over into apps and go into advanced app settings and at this point here you've got this option there it says choose where to get apps now currently this is set to anywhere you can choose anywhere but let me know if there's a comparable app in the microsoft store anywhere but warn me installing an app blah 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 you get the general idea so if yours is set to the store only or anything else other than anywhere potentially armory crate might stall so you can experiment with that so maybe try changing that and then changing it back to anywhere just so it kind of recognizes what it's supposed to do. So that is one thing you can try. Then you can fire up the Armory Crate app again, close it, open it back up or reboot the system and see if your downloads work. If for some reason they don't, then there is something else we can do. So I've actually got this in a notepad document. So this is the location where it starts downloading. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up this location and show you actually what happens. So this is where we wanna go. Now to get to the app data section, as it says there, the easiest way of doing that is to type run and get the run box up and type in app data. As you can see, I've already done this a little bit earlier. Click on okay, and this will take you most of the way. So this takes you up to app data. So now we need to go into local from there and basically just follow the rest of that along. So it's local, then we wanna go into packages and then into the Armory Crate one, which is here. Then into Local State. And then into Support Temp, which is right at the bottom there. There is some more down there, but yeah, Support Temp is the one you want. So this is the folder or file which fills up with the drivers. So if yours hangs, you can just download them from here. So let's click on this at the moment. So if we go to this section, so we're gonna choose the Realtek LAN driver. If we choose Download and Install, now hopefully it's gonna hang still at 55%. It looks like it might do. So we're getting to 55%. Now, if we look here now, you can see it's actually downloaded the zipped version and unzipped it. So what you can do, you can either click on cancel or just right click on these files like this, right click, choose copy and just paste it to the desktop. So if for some reason it doesn't work, which it actually looks like it isn't going to, so we close that down now, you see, yeah, we're still hung on 55%. Now some of you may find a little bit of benefit going away, just go and have a cup of tea or something, then come back and you may find that it's actually gonna work and it will magically get to 100% and then you can carry on with the rest of your day and pretend nothing bad happened. But if you don't have the time and just wanna get on with it, you can just cancel this installation. So we're gonna click on cancel and we'll cancel installation. So this is gonna stop the installation, and in theory, it should actually delete those files and folders which are created 
in the shortcut we've noted earlier. So hopefully that's going to finish anytime soon. I think this is the bit where it's actually deleting the files. So that's that done. If you can't install your drivers, you can go back to the folder. So we've got our Realtek LAN driver here. And if you look inside the folder, you should find somewhere there is going to be a setup routine. So you can choose ASUS setup. Again, depending what your driver is, or there may be just a setup application, just run that and you can install the drivers manually. So it's still going to find the right drivers for your motherboard. It's just you're going to be taking manual control of it to do it. So that, I think, is going to be pretty much it. Armory Crate has got a little bit better of recent times, but it still is a little bit fussy at points. Whether it's because the drivers are too close to the Windows installed one already, I honestly don't know. But this is one of the workarounds. So potentially you can change the download section for apps and advanced settings to download anywhere, just in case that is preventing Armory Crate from downloading. Or you can go to the shortcut highlighted here and actually just copy the installation files onto your desktop or some other suitable place and install them from there. So there we go, relatively straightforward thing to do. It is a little bit of a pain in the backside and potentially the location will change if it does. If I get notified about it from some of you out there in viewer land, then I will update the location, but I think it's gonna pretty much remain where it is. That seems to be the default location for now. Hopefully this will sort your problems out. If you're still experiencing problems after this and neither one of those methods have worked for you, please feel free to reach out to us in the comments section below. If you want a faster and more accurate response, head over to our Discord. It's completely free of charge to join and there are dedicated technical support rooms which you're more than welcome to use. So I think that's going to pretty much wrap this one up. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.